Hi guys. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the media, mostly. No, actually it will be about the media. Um, and immigration. Now, one thing I've noticed over the last two or three days is that the media, it doesn't matter what it is, it could be the mirror, the independent, the telegraph, the mail, so I follow quite a few mainstream news on Facebook, mostly just for the um, humour of it, but um, I've noticed they've gone from, or a lot of them have gone, from referring to them as immigrants immigrants being a pain in the ass and causing a problem, especially down in Calais, to um, referring them to refu... There, I'll try again. Referring to them as refugees. Of course refugees sound better. Sounds a lot better than immigrants, doesn't it? What is puzzling me is why they've suddenly changed, because, well, since this Calais problem in a... In a quotation marks, um, came to light, they've always referred to them as immigrants, and even when they've tried to get across like the Greek border and other European borders, they've, the media have referred to them as immigrants or migrants. I don't know what the bloody difference is, but, um, but like I said, Suddenly, for the last few days, I don't know if it's going to come up because of the white background, but uh, they've been referring to them as refugees. But, <laughs> yeah. So, that does puzzle me as to why. I'm not usually one for, like, a conspiracy theorist. You know, I'm not one for these conspiracy theories, but... Considering what I see a lot of now, I am starting to get that way. And I'm starting to understand why there's so many conspiracy theorists out there. Because there is a lot of things that just... No matter how many times you run them round in your head, they just don't make sense. Um, and to me, the only reason I can think of why the papers would do this, well there's actually a couple of reasons. One, because they're bored of trying to, um, or bored of painting these immigrants in such a bad light, you know, and making them out to be such bad people, which I've done such a good job of over the past couple of months or so. Or, our lovely Tory government here have been pulling a few strings, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the papers out there are like puppets to the government, you know, the government come, says you must write this and they go ahead and write it. So I bet, you know, if you go to either that or the um, editors of these papers have got brown tongues where they've been licking Cameron's ass. <laughs> so, um, again, it's just another little short video of something that's popped up. I'm going to try to do um, as many of these as I can, actually, because... Uh, I want to try and do something different other than my vlogs and whatnot. I want to get a bit of variety on the channel. Um, which might drum up some more subscribers. <laughs> if I'm lucky. I don't think I'll get that lucky, but a couple of hundred subscribers would be nice. But that's another video. I'm not going to discuss that here. Um, so, if you've got any views and you know where to leave them, you can leave them down in the comments section below. All I do ask for is that you be civil in your debates, or at least civil towards me. What you do with each other is up to you. <laughs> now, if you want to bitch each other out and insult each other, that's up to you. You can do that. But uh, if you're going to discuss with me and make comments directed at me, then please be civil. I don't like people being assholes. I don't be an asshole to anyone else when I'm in and gotten into a debate or try my best not to. So I don't expect it back. Please. Please be nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll uh, talk to you in the next video.